Five new features in Microsoft Forms. The first new feature is the ability to present live on a form or a quiz to capture data in a real-time situation just with a QR code. So right here, I've created a new quiz on office-based trivia. And this feature also works with just a regular form. But I've got a quiz all about the movie Office Space and I wanna capture this. So what I'm gonna do first is just go to collect responses I've set this to anyone can respond, but you can also set it to only people in your organization or specific people. And this is pretty standard. Now in the upper right, there's this new button called present. Now when I click this, it pops up this new form dialog that has a QR code. And this is really cool. So I'm going to go and answer this first question. I'm gonna sign in with a couple of different devices and quickly answer. So I've signed in with my phone and the first person is gonna answer a couple of questions here. Let's see how well they know office space. Well, the first person didn't get that one right. Let's see if the second person gets it right. Ooh, look at that. Looks like Bill, which is the correct answer, got that one right. What's also nice is because this is a quiz format, I can choose show correct answer. So right here, it shows that Bill was the right answer. And you can show these in real time or you can do it later. If I go to the next question, since everyone's answered, it looks like red was the right answer for the color of the stapler. And again, I've chosen to show the correct answers. If I wanna hide them again, I can go here. We'll go to the last question, Saturday. It looks like both people got that right. It shows two responses. So that's really handy to gather that real-time feedback and anyone with a QR code reader can sign in. It's great for meetings or in big events you might be at to gather that real-time information. The second new feature is similar and it is integration with PowerPoint with this new Forms Present Live. So I've got my Office Space presentation and this is a slide where I wanna do a pop quiz. Up at the top, I'll choose Insert and then choose Forms right here. Over on the right, I'm gonna select Office Space Trivia and click Insert. That puts this new updated user interface right on the screen and there's two choices, collect responses offline or present for interactive meetings. What I'll do is start my slideshow right here. So imagine that I'm in a meeting or I'm at a big company event or I'm in a classroom. And if I just go here as the presenter, I'll click present for interactive meetings. Now here we are because we just answered this in that previous demo I did. This is reusing the same quiz, but it's the exact same concept. So you can have people hold up their phones, use the QR code, go through here, show the correct answer. But now it's baked right into your PowerPoint slide deck. So if I hit next slide, we go to the final slide. The third new feature is the ability to let people save their responses in a form. And this is gonna be on by default now. To find it, go to the three dot menu in the upper right and choose settings. If you scroll down, you're gonna see right here, allow respondents to save their responses. So I'll show what that looks like when you fill out a form. Here's a form that I've received and I'll choose start now. And I'm gonna quickly fill this out. Okay, it's filled out and I'll click submit. Now right here, you see save my response. So I can get a link for this to go back in the future. So I will click save my response. Now what's nice is if I go to filled forms, my response is right here. So this is the one that I filled out. So this new category for filter has all of the responses that you saved. So if you wanna make sure it doesn't get lost, keep track of it, it goes right there under filled forms, which is at forms.microsoft.com. The fourth new feature is related and it is the ability to edit your response if the creator lets you to go back and change it. Let's show what that looks like. I'm the form designer right here. And again, we're gonna to go to the three dot menu in the upper right and choose settings. If you scroll down, there's a new option that says allow respondents to edit their responses. So we're gonna check this on. Now we'll switch over to a different person who's gonna open up this form for the first time with this new checkbox that says allow respondents to edit their responses. Okay, now I'm switched over to the other account and I'm a new person. I'm gonna fill this form out. I'll click start now. And we're gonna go through and fill it out really quick. Now it's filled out, I'll hit submit. And what you're gonna see is there's this new save my response to edit. It says the form allows you to edit your response and please save this and you can make changes later. So if I left something out, I could fill it in or I could go and change something that I didn't like. So let's choose save my response to edit. Okay, now I'm signed into my forms and it says filled form right here. And if you go to this filled forms, just like we showed previously, this is the save and edit your response. Now I can open this back up and I'm gonna go back into view response and I can change whatever I did. At the top here, it says you can view and edit your response. So I'm gonna edit it. You know what, this is five star experience and I can scroll down and maybe I wanna fill out more details right here. Nothing to improve. Okay, I'll go to the bottom and I hit submit and note that this works for both forms as well as quizzes. 
The fifth new feature is improved quiz dialogues when you create them from Teams for Education. I'm signed in as an educator to Teams assignments and at the bottom I'll click create and I'll choose new quiz. There's a new dialog here that makes it easier to sort and find things. There's my quizzes, you can see these here. If people have shared quizzes with you, it shows up here. If you've marked any as favorites, they show up as well. And if I go here, I can search quiz title just like I could before. There's my chemistry unit one quiz. And you can still create the new quiz right here, just like you could in the past. So with these new filters and pivots, it makes it easier to sort and find quizzes. If you want to keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.